the NAACP approved a historic resolution addressing climate change legislation for the first time in the organization's history. We're what does that mean? Sir, we're going to put that in the record, and you can read it, because I don't have the time, but I'll read the uh, What does that mean, though? I mean, the NAACP has a resolution. What does that mean? Sir, they could say the same thing about what do you mean. I'm just telling you I've got documentation. they passed it, sir. They passed it. Now, also, if that isn't interesting to you, we'll quote John Grant, who is the CEO of 100 Black Men of Atlanta, quote, Clean energy is the key that will unlock millions of jobs, and the NAACP's support is vital to ensuring that those jobs help to rebuild urban areas. So clearly, there's a diversity. Madam Chair, that is condescending to me. I'm the National Black Chamber of Commerce, and you're trying to put up some other black group to pit against me. If this gentleman, if this gentleman were here, he would be proud that he was being quoted. Just he should have been invited. Just as he would be proud. It is condescending just to me. So, just so you know, he would be proud that you were here. He's proud, I'm sure, proud, that proud. I am quoting that, him. All that's condescending, and well, I, sir, I don't like it. It's racial. What's I don't racial? like it. Excuse me, I sir. Take a, I take offense to it. Okay. As an African-American and a veteran of this country, I take offense to that. Offense at the fact that I would quote. You're, you're quoting some other black man. Why don't you quote some other? No. Asian or somebody. Well, let I mean, me, what, you let me be are being clear. racial here. Okay, let me be And I clear. think you're going, getting to a path here let me that's going clear. to explode. I'm going in the to post. respond right now. I'm going to ask everyone to listen to what I said. First, I placed in the record the Pew Charitable Trust study. Very important study for our state, our home state of California. Then I wanted to make a point that the fact is there's definitely differing opinions in the black community, just as there are in my community. You're speaking on behalf of the black community? No, I am putting in the record a statement by the NAACP. Why? As, because I think it is quite relevant. I, I understand the Pew, I think the, I understand the Pew study. But, but you why don't are you think... doing the NAACP? Why are you doing the Colored People Association study well, with the Black Chamber of Commerce? I am trying to show the diversity of support that diversity. we have. And I will go ahead and do one more diversity of support. The oil companies, the oil companies, I think they're an important part of this conversation. The oil companies are the ones who funded the very first CRA report that you support. I think it's important to note. I have no that idea Exxon, of that. I'm putting it in the record, sir. ExxonMobil gave hundreds of thousands of dollars for that report. Senator, Senator, as I said, we've been looking at energy policy since 1996, and we are referring to the experts, regardless of their color. And for someone to tell me, an African-American, college-educated veteran of the United States Army, that I must contend with some other black group and put aside everything else in here, this has nothing to do with the NAACP, and really has nothing to do with the National Black Chamber of Commerce. We're talking energy. And that, that road the chair went down, I think it's god awful. But the benefits do not meet the cost, uh, especially for urban communities. Uh, and, and let me speak for the African-American community, since I am African-American.